Turkey, Iron, Zinc, and Biotin, which can help nourish your hair. Your skin is the largest organ of the body. It needs proper care. Take a bath every day. By washing your skin with soap and water, you get rid of bacteria and viruses that can be harmful to your body. And of course, make sure to wear clean clothes daily to avoid developing body odor and getting irritation. Apart from hand washing, you should also keep your nails clean. Make sure it is cleaned regularly to avoid buildup of dirt, which may carry bacteria and viruses that can enter the body when you touch your nose, mouth, or eyes. We also have to observe proper hygiene before we sleep. Make sure that your feet is clean and dirt-free before climbing up on your bed. Wash your hands and brush your teeth. It is also important to maintain good habits and proper conduct at home or when you are out in the public. Number 1. Sit up straight and maintain good posture when sitting down. Good posture shows confidence. Number 2. Use a clean handkerchief when wiping your face and your hands. Number 3. When coughing or sneezing, cover your mouth or nose with your elbows or use a tissue to avoid getting the bacteria on your hand. All these habits can help you gain confidence and keep your overall healthy. It's easy, isn't it? Number one, make sure to wash your hands regularly. Number two, brush your teeth twice a day for two minutes. Number three, wash your hair and regularly brush it. Number four, take a bath regularly and make sure to wear clean clothes after. Number five, keep your nails clean. Also, observe proper behavior when in public. Make this a habit and you're sure to not just look good, but also feel good inside and out. Hey, good, uh, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Before we formally start, later on, we will be having a new trick quiz. So this is a virtual quiz. And in order for your kids to be able to join, you can join manually or you can join automatically. Okay. If you want to join manually, open a different browser. Type in joinmyquiz.com and enter the quiz code 690890. And do not forget to type in your complete name. Again, how to join manually. To open a different browser. Let's type in joinmyquiz.com and enter the quiz code 690890. And do not forget to type in your complete name. Otherwise, you can click on the link that is sent here in our chat box. Okay? So click on that and do not forget to type in your complete name. Okay? So before we formally start, to everyone, good morning. And to our teachers, we can start with our program. Hi, to our teachers, we may begin with the program. Thank you. Hi, 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 hi. Wow. Uh, hi, can you please allow me to screen share for the Rupaginda? Hello, sir, to our teachers. Hi, uh, sharing is allowed. This is Okay, Peter. everybody, please please stand up. We Peter. will start with our national anthem. Okay. Everybody, Peter. please stand up. Turn up the pan there. 
Okay, ilagay ang kama- ilagay ang kanan ng kamay sa dibdib. Ala go PP. Hmm? You wait. No audio. I want audio. Wala audio po. Wala audio. I didn't know that. We just watch Kuya and then we'll do it together in a huh? Okay? Okay, Because Mommy will have a hard time preparing for two people. Okay? Or we can just take a cookie later. Okay, keep standing for our uh, headway hymn. Teacher, there is no audio. Okay, there is audio. It's better have audio. I go pee pee. Carl. So as we start, as we officially start our talk, I would like to welcome everybody for joining our Gardenia Nutri Tour. Okay. So uh, before I before I, speakers, I want everybody to mute their mics and don't unmute them, not until the speaker says so. Okay. Okay. So into to introduce our speaker, he is a registered nutritionist, dietitian, corporate nutri- nutritionist with expertise on clinical nutrition. Let us welcome Mr. Melchizedek H. Bikua for our first speaker. And our second speaker is a registered nutritionist, dietitian, corporate nutritionist handling Gardenia School Nutritor program, Ms. Michelle Jane Aguiz. Uh, all right. So good morning, everyone. Again, before we start, I will just have to announce this. It's um, I think we just have a few uh, kids who are just registered to our quiz. So we have the thirty-five. Hi, and, hello. Good morning. Good morning. And morning, Sister Asher. 
Okay, so before we formally start, kids. Okay, let us mute first. Let us mute first. Let us mute. Let us mute first. Let me speak. Thank you. Okay, so I will just have to announce this. So later we will be having time to speak out. Okay, just uh, let me speak first. Okay, so for today we will be having a new request later on. This is our second activity, and in order for you kids to be able to join, join manually by typing or opening a different browser, join myquiz.com and enter the quiz code six nine zero eight nine zero. Do not forget to type in your complete name. Otherwise, click on the link that is sent here in our chat box. Okay, thank you, Joaquin, for sending the quizzes code. Okay, later on, do not yet transfer that to that. Okay, so later on, we will be having that. All right, so for today, good morning, Headway School of Giftedness. And to formally start, welcome to our school, Nutritor Online. So this is a virtual field trip. And on the side, we will be having learning and fun activities for all of you. I know you are all excited because for today, we will be having a lot of activities. To highlight that, as one, of, uh, one of our activities is our recipe demo. So some of you, I, I already saw so they are prepared in doing the recipe. Okay, later on, just sit tight. We will be doing that all together. But before we formally start, let's do a mini or a quick energy level check. Okay, so of course, when I greet everybody a Gardenia morning, you will all unmute your devices and greet me back. Gardenia morning as well. Okay, so let's try it. Gardenia morning, everyone. Gardenia morning. Gardenia morning and welcome to our school nutritor online. We can now mute. We can now mute. Thank you so much for all of your warm and uh, loud greetings. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. So for today, like I've mentioned, we have a lot of activities. Unang una dyan is our healthy eating lecture video. So this is in a form of a video. So we won't pause it just for the sake of highlighting some um, ideas. So if you are interested in some of the pointers or ideas in our video, you can screen cap it, you can take note of it. Or of course, if you want to clarify naman some things no, that is um, somehow picked your interest, you can type your questions at the chat box. Okay, but do not use it just a favor. Do not use it to, to talk to your classmates or uh, to type... Um, Irrelevant messages, no? To avoid distractions to our session, okay? So are we clear on that? Can I get a thumbs up? Okay, thank you so much, kids. All right, moving forward is our second um, activity, which is our uh, NutriQuiz. So all of the questions from our for our NutriQuiz will be coming from our um, Healthy Eating Lecture video. So please do listen carefully, okay? So if you have questions later on, Ate Michi, my partner for today's activity, she will be having the Q&A portion. So if you have questions, yes, you can raise your hand. Or you can click the raise hand button. Yes, Pablo, you are raising your hand. Yes. Um, sorry, I forgot what I was about. Okay, that's okay. All right, so moving forward. Okay, after that, if time allows, we will be having our fitness time. But if we run out of time, we will directly proceed with our Gardenia plant tour. So this is um, how we show you or where we show you how we make our world-class quality breads, each step of the bread-making procedure inside of the Gardenia plant. And it seems that we are not able to do anything face-to-face, -face, so we will be touring you virtually here in our plant. And right after that is one of the most awaited part of our program, which is our recipe making. So who among you are going to do the recipe? Kindly give me a thumbs up or a raise of hand. If you're going to do the I recipe, I didn't know we were gonna do this. It's okay. It's okay. It's not actually mandatory if you didn't buy the recipes. You can watch. You can watch the how your classmates be doing the recipe, and you can do it on your own time or your own pace. Okay. 
moving forward is our e-classroom rules. So kids, kindly mute muna ang ating microphones. Okay, for the whole session, these rules apply. Okay, so kindly mute all of your microphones for the remainder of the session unless otherwise asked. If you do have questions, you can raise your hand or you can click the raise hand button. But of course, you must wait, wait before uh, you unmute, okay? You must wait for uh, us to call your name before you unmute. Do not unmute unless we call your name. To avoid vocal traffic, we don't want you speaking all together, no? We can't understand uh, people who are talking together, okay? So, of course, use our chat box for your questions and your answers and no unnecessary talking, okay? Especially during the session. You can use it for your uh, necessary uh, questions and your answers, okay? And, of course, make sure that you are well-behaved all throughout the session. And lastly, be respectful to anyone who is speaking right in front of you. So, before we proceed with our first activity, are you all ready to start? Kindly give me a thumbs up. So, we have a couple of phrase hands here before we start. Yeah, let's start with Apollo. Why? Uh, do you have anything to share? That's why you're raising your hand. We are eating healthy meats. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Apollo, for sharing. So that's really great. What about Gabriel? So Gabriel is raising his hand as well with the username. He already told us his full name here, but I forgot because it's kind of long. Okay. Gabriel. Um, and before Gabriel, let's call yes. Mona Rafael. Let me you find his name first. I wasn't raising my hand, sir. Oh, you weren't raising your me. hand, and you accidentally me. probably clicked it. We Hello? also have, we have Joaquin. Francisco, do you have a question before we start? What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? You're just supposed to sit there, watch, and learn for today. We're going to have lots of activities as Kuya Mel mentioned already. So oh, uh, later uh, on, we will be having a recipe demo. So if you prepared uh, some of the ingredients, then you will be also doing that later on with us. But if you didn't, so you're just going to be end up watching our other classmates as they do and create our recipe for today. Okay. All right. So going back on our program, Ate Michi. Okay, ayan. So for your other questions, you may type them in the chat box. But please use the chat box only for your questions. Kindly please uh, avoid uh, chatting. If you want to make or ask others to stop chatting, kindly do not ask na lang. I'll be the one to say if you of uh, they would be and if they will do it. So I will just turn the chat to host and co-host. So you may send the questions to me. Uh, so that your other teachers or other classmates won't be distracted with the chats that keep popping up sa ating screen because everybody's chatting. And so we want to avoid as much distraction as possible so that we can all and we can all uh, learn from today. Again, for our first activity, okay, before we start, Siga, si El Yormir, Kada, do you have a question, an important question before Lagi we start? Dagawan, Lagi siya manggaganyan. Um, is the school sponsored by Gardenia? Huh. And we're not sponsoring your school, just this activity for today. And just for this activity for today, Gardenia is facilitating, but we're not exactly affiliated with your school. So we're just conducting the activity in your school for today. Okay, I think we can proceed first. Okay. You Again, you may leave your questions in the chat box if it's really, really necessary for you to ask it. You may leave it in the chat box. Kindly send it to me, the one with Gardenia Wellness Team, so that we can answer them if it is really important. Okay, but for today, since we don't really have a lot of time and it's almost lunch time, so we don't really want to keep you long, and we're going to proceed with our first activity. So for our first activity, as we mentioned, it will be a short lecture. 
lecture. And for our lecture today, we are going to talk about something which we call your 10 kumain men. So, yeah, your 10 kumain men. So, what are, or what are the 10 kumain men? Do we know the 10 kumain men? So, the 10 kumain men look like this, the one on the screen. It is flash exactly like this. If you search it later on, on Google or in whatever uh, web browser that you're using or searching a browser that you're using, you're going to come up with the same results. This is how the 10 commandments look like. It, it will be the 10 commandments. This is patterned to our 10 commandments, which might, you might be familiar already. You might be familiar with already. But the 10 commandments, it's not created or it's not found in the Bible. This is created by National Nutrition Council as a guide for everybody so that we can all stay healthy. Ayan. So, for us to stay healthy, they created now 10 lists of things that we have to do for us to remain healthy. And so we're very glad to see or hear that you like our bread. And for those who are saying that I'm not noticing their questions. And so we're very glad to hear that you like our gardenia breads. And we will be using that for our recipe later. But as we mentioned, we have an activity first. Other activities first before we proceed to that. So let's all, uh, it's uh, let's all pay attention to whatever we're uh, actually doing at the moment first. Okay, as again as we mentioned, we have our ten comma and men's, which is created by the National Nutrition Council as a guide for us to all stay healthy, especially during this time of the pandemic, wherein you kids, if you can't get vaccinated, it's not yet possible for our kids to get vaccinated. So the only way we can defend ourselves is to keep our body healthy. That's because the kids' vaccine is not even out yet. Mm, yes, it's not even out yet, right? So that's why the most important thing or the only thing that we can do for ourselves it's is to keep our like body healthy. And these things, our 10 commandments, these are the tips that we have to do. So some of them, they, might, they may sound very uh, simple or something that you've heard over and over again. But sometimes we tend to forget kasi to do these activities or these things that are very important. Pala. So for today, we hope that the lecture that you are going to watch will help you understand why is it important to follow. So when we play the video later on, I want you to check. Uh, so let's keep our microphones muted later on when we watch the lecture video. And I want you to check on your own, evaluate. Do you follow each and every 10 commandments or each and every commandment that is stated in the video? Do you follow it? Or if you don't follow it, why? Why don't you follow the 10 commandments that are listed in here and i want you to check that as we go through our lecture video later and again if you have any questions you may leave them in our chat box we'll try to respond to your questions but only those that are important or related to the uh, activities that we are doing if it's something that's completely random you might not respond to it because we don't really want to waste time as we know, we have lots of activities prepared for you. Again, the uh, chat box for now is limited to sending messages to me and the other co-hosts because we don't want the others to be distracted while we're having our activity for today. You can talk to your schoolmates, your classmates, or friends later on after we're done with the activity. But for now, we request that you give your full attention to the activities that we have so far. So, okay. Is that okay? Everybody ready to learn about the 10 commandments? Can you give me a thumbs up? reaction if you are ready and uh, thumbs up I'm, I'm, okay sorry to interrupt excuse me but i'm also ready to learn okay and you're the, all ready to learn okay so if you we're please, all ready to learn kindly keep our wait. microphones muted i have one last question one last uh, question okay what's your last question actually it's two things one i eat i mostly eat my bread your bread for breakfast when i was grade one up until grade five when I started eating rice for breakfast. And then, can't you just call it the 10 food commandments? It sounds way more... 
Okay. So it's not something that we can decide on how it's called. It is create. It's not created by Gardenia, as we mentioned. It is created by National Nutrition Council. So we're just using what they have put up so far for us. But if you want to refer to it as the Ten Food Commandments, then you can. Ayan. Okay. But for now, let's keep our microphones muted and let's all learn what the Ten Commandments are all about. We, we care for you, so join us and we'll help you learn how to eat healthy. Did you know that there is what we call the Ten Commandments or the Ten Commandments for proper diet and healthy nutrition? This was made by the National Nutrition Council, a group of nutrition experts. It explains how important it is to have variety, balance, and moderation in our diet. Let's go through it one by one. Commandment number one. Eat a variety of food every day. What's your favorite food? I bet you always eat that every day. Almost every mealtime, right? Commandment number one, though, encourages us to explore and eat different kinds of food. There is no single food that can provide us all the nutrition that the body needs. So, it is important that your plate every mealtime includes items from the different food groups, Go, Grow, and Glow Foods. Let's see how familiar you are with the three G's of food. Which one do you think is Go, Grow, and Glow Foods? Did you identify it correctly? If you feel tired easily or often suffer from low energy, you might be lacking in Go Foods. It keeps you powered up to finish your activities for the whole day. Go Foods keep you on the go. It has carbohydrates, which are good energy boosters. Examples of Go Foods are bread, pasta, potatoes, and rice. Can you name some Go Foods too? Guess what the next G group is? Clue. Food under this group helps promote clear eyesight and makes your skin glow. That's right! Next on the list is Glow Foods. This includes fruits and vegetables which are also rich sources of vitamins and minerals. All these help you look and feel good inside and out. Glow with Glow Foods. Do you want to grow tall and develop strong muscles, healthy teeth and bones? That is all possible as long as you include grow foods in your diet. This food group includes meats such as chicken, pork, beef, and fish, which helps build a strong body. So again, what's commandment number one? It is all about variety. Make sure to eat go, grow, and glow foods every mealtime. Commandment number two states that breastfeeding is best for babies six months and below. A complete meal for your baby brother or your baby sister who is under six months old is your mom's breast milk. After six months, they can be fed with other baby food products. Commandment number three reminds us to eat fruits and vegetables every day. Let's recap. What food group does fruits and vegetables belong? That's right! Glow Foods! The more fruits and vegetables you have on your plate, the more vitamins and minerals you have. Vegetable. number four. Meat and fish and other protein-rich foods. Protein is macronutrient. It is also referred to as the building blocks of our body. If you want to grow tall and develop strong muscles, Eat protein-rich foods like chicken, fish, pork, beef, and other dairy products. What do you think is the food group that's rich in protein? Clue. It starts with letter G. <laughs> Grow foods. Yup, they're definitely rich in protein. Commandment number five. 
Drink milk and eat foods that are rich in calcium. As you grow old, your bones may become weak. It could be harder to stand and sit upright or move around. To keep your bones strong, make sure to eat and drink foods that are rich in calcium. Milk is one good source of calcium that is needed to strengthen teeth and bones. Other dairy products such as cheese, some fishes and vegetables are good sources of calcium too. Which one is your favorite source of calcium? Aside from knowing what you should eat, making sure your food is clean and safe is also very important. Commandment number 6 reminds us to check our water and food source to make sure it is clean and safe. Adapt a habit to check food packaging labels. For example, there is what we call the best before labels. This shows that food can still be consumed after the date written on the packaging, but it may not be at its top quality. On the other hand, expiration date or use before labels mean that the food item needs to be eaten before the stated date on the label. This is important so you can avoid having diarrhea or food poisoning due to expired food. For gardenia breads, they use the G-Lock system, a color-coded bread seal that helps customers track baking date and expiry of each loaf. It is gardenia's way of ensuring that you get only the freshest breads every day. Also, check the storage instructions on the packaging. Consume or cook food according to instructions. Do you have any food allergies? Better check on food allergen alerts. This is an important warning that gives you an idea of different ingredients that may cause allergies. Nuts, seafood, gluten, milk, or dairies are some of the more common food allergens. Have you seen food items with labels that says sugar or cholesterol free? zero gram trans fat, rich in omega-3 or other vitamins and minerals, high in fiber, good for the heart? These are what you call health and nutrition claims. They're also important if you're looking for a specific benefit or power up on your food. Now let's go to commandment number seven, which encourages the use of iodized salt when preparing food. Iodine helps maintain a healthy thyroid, which aids in food digestion and regulates some of our body's function. Just make sure to not eat too much salt, as this needs to be eaten in moderation. Speaking of moderation, let's now go to commandment number 8. Do you love eating sweets, salty, or oily food? Commandment number 8 reminds us to limit eating these. Recognize this? This is the food pyramid. This shows the recommended servings of each food group that we should consume every day. At the bottom of the pyramid are those which we should eat more of. Go foods! We should eat at least four to six servings every day. One serving of go foods is equal to one cup of rice or three slices of bread or two cups of noodles. Next to go are glow foods. Make sure to eat at least one medium-sized fruit or one half to one-third cup of vegetables every mealtime. And of course, the grow foods. One piece of chicken or fish or one glass of milk every mealtime will help you grow strong and healthy. At the top of the food pyramid are those which we should eat less. This includes food that are too salty, fatty, or oily and sweet. If you want to avoid being overweight, or you would rather not get complications like diabetes, heart or kidney problems, you better watch out on your sweets, salty, and oily foods. There is another way to help you keep track of the nutrition that you consume daily. Check the nutrition facts. This is the label that you often see on most food packaging. This shows how much of the food in the pack you can eat in one sitting. This is usually defined by the manufacturer. It is important to always check the serving size indicated in the nutrition facts table as some packaged foods are more than one serving per pack. This is where you see the amount of fat, cholesterol, sodium, sugar, 
and other items that contained in the food. It's usually measured in grams. So how do you know what's the right amount of nutrition does your body need? Experts say that it is best to consume food items with low saturated fat, cholesterol, sodium, and sugar. By low, we mean its DV or daily value should be 5% or lower. Food items with 20% and up are considered high and should be eaten in moderation. Also, try to avoid food with trans fat. Do you exercise regularly? You should! Physical activities, whether light exercise or sports, help with blood circulation and body strengthening. Doing this helps us fulfill commandment number 9. Maintain the right weight for your body. And this is also connected to commandment number 10. Stay physically active, avoid drinking and smoking. That's the 10 commandments which, if you follow, can help you build a strong and healthy body. Remember to always eat variety of products from different food groups to ensure you get enough nutrition. Eat in moderation. Let the food pyramid guide you on what to eat every day. Reading the nutrition facts can also help you decide on what food can be healthy for your body. Also, eat a well-balanced diet. Exercise and observe habits that would help make you strong. And of course, always check food labels. Make sure it is clean and safe to eat. It's easy to remember, right? Keep the Ten Commandments in mind and make sure to follow them for a better, healthier you. Okay, that is our 10 commandments lecture video. And we hope you all learned a lot from that. Again, if you have any questions, you may type them in the chat box. Actually, we received some questions earlier before we started. So our first question is about protein sources. He, uh, they asked, see si, who asked it, si Tina. And if I'm not mistaken, the one with username Tina Africa. How do vegan people get Protein. So we know that there are some people who practice veganism wherein they opt not to eat animal food or food items that comes from the animal. So this includes your eggs, your different types of meat. Natin. So where do they get their protein? Because usually as us who are not uh, vegan eaters, we do get our protein mostly from our meat products. But for vegan people, they can get theirs from plant sources are there are lots of actually different plant sources that can be or that are rich in protein for example tofu is one of the biggest staple for the vegan people natin tofu or tokwa and if you know about that already that is very rich in proteins it can be their source there can also be your beans and nuts so different beans and nuts natin for example your chicken is even your mongo it is actually very rich in protein so that can be also their option <laughs> and another and, and other different uh vegetable sources natin. but mostly yun yung pinaka main nila there are also other meat like type products wherein they use different types of vegetables and then they mimic yung how our actual meat look like although they don't taste like the same but burger? yeah yeah, there are plant some already that already taste exactly like meat. They, they exactly do, they do taste exactly the same. So they, some, some people some, they're say, already, they're yeah, already some already taste already. the same, some don't taste the same. But yeah, there are always uh, options like that where they create or they try to mimic or copy uh, how our actual meats look like, but using vegetables. Yeah. So different vegetables, maybe mushrooms also, they also do that. Okay, we also have another question in here. I think about potatoes, because I know a lot of us love potato and, and french fries, and you might say, because we are saying friend, uh, potatoes are good for us or good for the body it's a good source of carbohydrate but what about french fries because french fries, fries are made fries with uh, are made from potato right but french fries are also deep fried so if they are deep fried they're not exactly healthy for us so we want the potatoes to not be fried so you can 
we'll probably boil it, ma uh, do a mashed potato instead of doing or eating a French fry. Or if you're having or want a French fry, so you can probably air fry it or bake your uh, potatoes instead. Uh, so that can be a way to enjoy your potatoes the same way you would enjoy your French fries. And uh, not deep frying, but doing other ways of cooking. And it can be a way for you to enjoy your potatoes as well in a healthier way natin. Okay. We also have our uh, tomato healthy. Is, of course, tomato is healthy. It's rich with different vitamins and minerals. Is tomato juice as healthy as a steam, a standard tomato? I would probably say same if you are using the entire tomato. If you're using the entirety of tomato, you might actually get more fiber from it if you juice it. And it will be giving you the same amount of nutrients. It can be a way, because some of us, right, so if you don't, or some of you, they, you really don't like to eat the whole potato in different uh, ulam, for example, or different salad, maybe. So, uh, But you would eat it if it's in juice form. So it can be like that for you. So it can be an option for you to get the other vitamins and minerals that can uh, that potato can give your body uh, the same thing uh, if you eat it as a whole but if you don't like not eating it as it is or uncooked and uh, you may juice it in a way so that you can also consume it Ayan. okay we also have of course you don't eat the leaves of the potato and the stem of the potato plant a uh, tomato plant rather and when you are juicing okay we have and there is really no presentation on the screen. And that's why it's all black. And I will stop now that. Okay. I have another question to ask you. So sorry okay. for that once again. Okay, what's your question? One thing, I eat tomatoes, but I only use them as ragu sauce. Secondly, I did when I was an eight-year-old, I went to a mall. And then I suddenly started to feel like I was puking because I ate too many tomato sauce because I ate pizza. I started puking in public. Okay, of course, it's better to uh, think in moderation. Everything that we have to eat in moderation, Paren, of course. Okay, but mom actually had to find a bag for me. And she actually has to take okay. all of the clothes out of her bag so I can puke in there instead okay. of a nearby bathroom or right. so be so na lang yeah, next it's time. disgusting. And so be careful na lang next time, of course. We have Ew. to keep it in moderation. If Ew. you know that you're eating too much of something, of course, you have to stop yourself. And ketchup is tomato, that is right. But ketchup is also yeah. with added sugar. So it's not really the healthiest way to consume your tomatoes and to me ketchup has a lot of sugar in it so that's why it's not really the healthiest option for everybody to consume their tomato better fresh or if not fresh as we mentioned juice uh, juice tomato juice can also be a way to consume their tomatoes okay or other vegetables if you really don't like to eat vegetables but you would uh, find it okay if you juice it or mix it or like a smoothie maybe and it can be a, an option for you. Yes, uh, with the username Diane Lorraine Torre. It's my mom's name. Yes, yeah. yeah, so what's your question? I don't have a question. It's that, it's that I have a heart rate watch to tell. To tell. Mm, I have a health watch. I also have a fitness watch right here. So it, it monitors how much uh, steps have I taken, your heartbeat. So if you are, it can be a good way to actually assess your daily health as well. It also measures your amount of sleep and because I still wear this when I'm sleeping and it can be. So your health watch can also be a good way to monitor your health. If the vegetable is added a bit salt, is, this, is it now not healthy or still healthy? Uh, of course, with cooking, for example, you stir fry or bake or something, your vegetables, you may add some seasoning to it. If it's just a little, that's fine. But if you add too much, for example, you cook chop suey because chop suey, right, it's filled with different vegetables. If it becomes too salty, then you... Uh, sabaw niya, it's actually not that too healthy for you. So, better to minimize the amount of salt 
for taste lang siya as much as possible. Don't add too much. And okay. Now, let's proceed to our quiz game. And if you have other further questions, you may type it in the chat box. I'll try to respond to them later. But for now, since we're not really on a lot of time, we don't have a lot of time. So let's proceed to our quiz game. So you may now transfer to the quizzes side. You can now transfer to the quizzes side. But don't leave the Zoom meeting. We'll be doing the other activities here. But let's now proceed to the quiz. Oh, okay. okay, transfer to the quiz side so that we can do our quiz game and for today. So again, this will be based on our 10 commandments lecture video as we mentioned earlier. So if you listen carefully, you will probably get the correct answers for this quiz game that we have ilong, ilong. So for today. For today, we will be having six questions for our quiz game. So how to answer? Just simply click the box of your chosen answer within the time limit. So each question will be flashed. Uh, the code is 690-890. And, and the link, I already sent it in the chat box earlier. Let me send it again for those who are still not with us and so let me just copy the link for everybody again okay let me let me let me copy it again for those who haven't joined but you can just simply join go to joinmyquiz.com enter the quiz code Nathan, which was 690890 so let me just go back do the activity again. Wait a minute so that I can and I can start. Okay, again, the code is 690890. Okay, wait, I'll be looking for the link to send it to our chat box again. And for those who still haven't joined our quiz game. And again, our quiz game is in here. And so someone sent it already in the chat box. I'm already in the quizzes. You're already in the quizzes. That's good if you're already in the quizzes. I'm already in the quiz. I'm already in the quiz. I'm already in the quiz also. Okay, everybody's already in the quiz. I'm already in the quiz, teacher. I am already. Okay, okay, you're all ready. Okay, let's all. Teacher, I'm not in the quiz. You're not in the quiz? What's the code again? 690890 for the code of the quiz code. Six nine zero eight nine zero, and for our quiz game again, we will be having six questions for our quiz game, and so each question will be flashed for twenty to forty-five seconds, depending on the type of the question. So the faster you click the correct answer, the higher you points haven't you joined will get. The, you haven't joined yet. And we are going to do the I quiz now. Let's just wait way. for the others to join us as well. Okay, let me Here just what code put ah. six nine zero eight nine zero. That is our quiz code. Ilin hira pa na kudo na lang kasi. And okay, let us start with our quiz game for those who still haven't joined and kindly uh, join na lang a little later. And you can catch up naman with the other okay, or other questions that we have. Okay, let's start with our first question. Everybody get ready to answer. Our first question is...
Okay, time's up for everyone. Hopefully, you got the key and your answers. Sure, can you restart? And you so can just catch up to the next my question. Summary. And it's okay, you oh, can catch okay. up to the next question. Well, okay, what's the correct the numbers again? answer. What's the number? I got the wrong answer. <laughs> you got the wrong Teacher. answer. Okay, the quiz code again is 690890. For those who still haven't joined, 8690890. And the correct uh, answer is, of course, each true. Each the questions are still not there in my phone. And the question is true. The correct answer is true for our first question as we mentioned oh, in Pamain Men can you restart number one we have to eat can you restart? a variety of food every day we're not going to restart to the first question anymore so you can just catch up to the second question you can still join and, and answer the second or the next set of questions that we have okay get ready to answer question number two Okay, time's up for question number two. The correct answer is, of course, our three Gs, our Go, Grow, and Glow Food. Okay, 47 of you got the correct answer, so that's good. Again, our three major food groups that can provide you the major and minor nutrients that your body needs are our Go, Grow, and glow food. Okay, let's now move on quickly to question number three. Teacher, what is it? Teacher, hi, I am it's Asher. Teacher, hi, it's Asher. Hi. Okay, and for those who are doing annotations on screen, kindly please stop annotating. Thank you. Okay, so 53 of you, almost everybody got the correct answer. Although one answered the plate with burger and nuggets. That's not how our balanced meal looks like. It should have, again, our three major food groups. Here go, grow, and glow foods for it to be considered a balanced meal. So every time you have your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Dapat daw ganito yung itsura ng ating plates. Okay, let's now go to question number four. Daddy, the teacher said hi to me already. Teacher, what is that? Teacher, what is that? Teacher, what is that? Teacher, what is that? We're having a quiz. Okay, teacher. That's a good quiz. Okay, again, kindly please uh, stop annotating on the screen. Okay, our third question is... Banana is to potassium, carrot is to vitamin A, milk is to blank. The correct answer is calcium. Of course, milk is the easiest source of calcium for everybody. It can also can be I a good see the leaderboards, please? Of other, I will see the leaderboards later on. But uh, we, as you mentioned, the other vitamins and minerals can be found in milk as well, but not in a lot of quantity, unlike your calcium. Okay, let's now go to our question number four. Again, we have to eat it to our drink or continue having our calcium-rich foods to avoid the circumstances. Okay, let's now go to our next question. 
Ang ganyan kami. Ngayon akong ganyan. No, I answered wrong. Made of light. Oh my God, son. You accidentally pressed the wrong answer. I didn't not try. Okay, let's see if you got the correct answer. For accidentally pressed the wrong answer. You accidentally press it. Okay, so let's see. Our leaderboard changed a little. So our Next, or our question, or the correct answer is powdered juice. Powdered juice is something that you have to avoid eating or drinking. If you have powdered juice at home, you can check it later on after we're done with our activity. It is very teach. high in um, sugar. Teach. It's high in sugar. That's why you teach. have to avoid eating or drinking it. Yes? Teacher, my dad doesn't You make powdered juice. He just uses all the oranges and then creates juice. Yes. And then we good. add so water. That's good. Fresh fruit juice, that would be a best option for us, not the powdered ones because that's unhealthy. So carbohydrates is like not tang. bad for tang you. Tang is a powdered juice. Yeah, like that. that. That's a powdered juice. So you should avoid drinking that. Butter, you can have fresh fruit juice. So squeeze your actual fruits and then add some water and make your own juice. Okay, again, carbohydrates, it's not bad for you. It's a good source of energy. And it can also be a good source of different vitamins and minerals, as we can see here sa ating screen. Again, we have to limit ourselves. It would be our salty, fatty, and sugar-rich food like our powdered juice. Okay, let's now go to our last question. So please read the choices carefully. They're kind of long. So our last question is... Oh, that's a lot of hands up. Okay, time's okay. up, everyone. Hopefully, you got the correct answer for this no one. Way. The correct yeah. answer. No, no way. No. The no. correct answer is daily value. That is is considered low, it should be less than five. The other statements what? are true. And you may be confused with food that is low in saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, sodium, and sugar is good. That if it's low in those, it's actually healthier. You have to avoid those if they are high in some food items. I it was low. Food that is low in saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol. That's how you should avoid. Uh, I avoid am them food. Again, our categories when we check low if it's 5% and below, high if it's 20% and above. And again, there are certain nutrients that we should get less of your saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, sodium, and sugar. Get more of our dietary fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Minerals. Okay, before we end our quiz game, I have a bonus question for everybody. So let's try to correctly answer our bonus question is... Oh. 
What's the question? Hmm? What is the name? Oh, oh, what's the name? Did you know? Gandhi Basta. Gandhi Basta. That's right. Okay. okay, the correct answer of the name of our mascot is Gardy. Our mascot is named Gardy. It's not Brady, not Garden, and not Gardes. Our name it's is Gardy. Funny, I thought it was. It was I knew Gardy, Gardy, Gardy. I thought it would be. I, I knew most of them would answer Brady. Gardy. Okay, now let's see who topped our quiz game. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, the one of first placer with 6,000, let me check, 6,490 points is Joey. Joey. Okay, can you mute your microphone? I'm here. Let me announce the top scorers first. Joey with 6,490 points. Congratulations to our top scorer. Can you send your full name in the chat box so we can take notes? Hello. Of it. Hello. Second place is MJ Bila. Can I leave now? 400 points. Can I leave now? No, po, no leaving. I have a class. I have a class at 12. Ah, you have a Boy. class at 12. And I guess you can leave if you have a class. Okay, bye. I was okay. first place it's earlier. And then second, but third place, the Annika Garing with 5,000 points. Fourth place, ito, uh, with a uh, different name. Ah, the voice changer doesn't work. Can you send your full name in the chat box with 4,710 points? And our fifth place is the Jaime with 4,680 points. Tied with Kirk Riley with 4,680 points. So Jaime, can Mid. you send your full name in the Mid. chat box as well? Thank you very much. So good job for those much. who got the, our top five scores. You say MJ Villa, not Villa. Okay, ayan. so let's now proceed to our next activity, which is our virtual planter. Then after this, we are going to do the recipe already. So let's all uh, mute our microphones and hopefully we can enjoy our virtual tour of the colonial plant. Welcome to Green City. This is where you learn and witness how to create world-class quality breads that delight every home. You'll surely have some fun and adventure as we explore different parts of the plant. What are you waiting for? Let's go! Oh, Let's go to this top of the line facility and learn oh, more about oh, Gardena. Oh, oh, oh. The bread making process starts with ingredients oh, oh, oh. Gardenia uses only the finest quality raw materials sourced from all over the world to make breads that would satisfy every Filipino's taste buds. Major ingredients such as flour, sugar, milk, and whey powder are put together and processed by a computer-enabled ingredient handling system. These are stored in giant silos and day bins. <laughs> Half of the prepared ingredients are transferred into a giant horizontal mixer called the sponge mixer. This is where the base dough or the sponge is prepared. It is the first step in the bread making process. The sponge is then transferred in a cold room where the process of fermentation takes place. It rests on large rectangular troughs for a few hours. This is done to enhance the aroma, flavor, and texture of the bread. The fermented sponge is then transferred to the dough mixer, where the other half of the ingredients are placed and combined to prepare the dough. After mixing, the dough is poured into a large rectangular container called the dough trough. 
This is then transferred to the makeup line. We will now proceed to the makeup line. This is where the dough is prepared to be divided, processed, and molded to become individual loaves. It is composed of four processes. First process is dividing. The dough is transferred by gigantic trough elevators to the divider, where it is cut into an exact size and weight. The technology behind the machine allows us to cut the dough into accurate and standardized scale of dough pieces ready for bread making. The second process is rounding. The dough pieces now enter the rounder. It is where each cut dough is rounded into a ball with smooth surface. It passes through an automatic smooth machine surface. To make sure each ball is scaled equally. The third process is the intermediate proofing. In here, the weighed dough is transferred into individual baskets where it is allowed to rest. This makes sure the dough is ready for molding and won't tear during the process. Yeah. The last process in makeup line is molding. The dough pieces are flattened and molded into cylindrical shapes cut into its final form. It goes through a twisting machine and is placed in the baking pans. As you move forward to the plant's viewing hallway, you will notice a tall, wide structure with two windows. This is the final proof box. During the final proofing, the molded doughs are placed in a temperature and humidity controlled room where it rests in a multi-level swing tray. This is where the dough rises inside the pan. Proofing is an important procedure in bread making as it helps control the texture of the final product. With top-of-the-line technologies used at the Gardenia plant, we ensure that quality is applied in every loaf that is produced. After the final proofing, the dough trays are automatically covered with lid using a robot. Bread is now ready baking in Gardenia's 30-meter tunnel oven. It has a series of five oven chambers with varying temperatures to ensure consistent baking for all loaves. It is equipped with an indirect firing system that is heated by environment-friendly petroleum gas. The computer technology ensures that equal heat is distributed inside the oven to bake the breads. We're almost done! See how Gardenia has planned every move in the process using the finest technology in bread making? After baking, the lids are automatically removed and stored for cooling in the lid stacker area. The bread is loosened by air bursts that's blown on the edges of each pan. Soft suctions are used to lift the breads automatically from the pan into the conveyor belt. All these are done without human hands. Meanwhile, the hot baking pans pass through pan coolers and are placed in the pan storage area by another robot. One of the favorite parts by many in the plant is the spiral coolers. This is where the baked loaves cool down before slicing and bagging. They pass through the first conveyor tower and are conveyed to the second tower via a bridge. through the spinal coolers, each of the cool-down loaf passes through what we call a tumbling station. A conveyor belt allows the bread to turn on each side to let highly trained checkers inspect the breads. Only loaves that meet Gardenia's high-quality standards are sliced and bagged. The loaves now enter a high-speed slicer, where it is automatically cut to appropriate thickness. Breads are pushed inside bags automatically by a state-of-the-art bagger, untouched by human hands. Finally, to seal in freshness, Gardenia uses color-coded G-Locks. This helps customers track baking date and expiry of each loaf. It is Gardenia's way of ensuring that you get only the freshest bread every day. 
The pack brands pass through metal detectors to ensure that it has no metal contaminants before transferred in clean trays ready for delivery. As you've seen, each Gardenia bread that you enjoy is a product of all the well-thought process which combines the art of bread making, technology, and passion. So bring only the best products to your home. Gardenia has the largest dispatch capacity in the Philippines. It houses over 850,000 loaves and buns, all of which are dispatched daily with the aim of delighting every Filipino home. The Bread City offers other activities that visitors can enjoy after the planned tour. Take photos in our different 3D installation and bring home a souvenir that would tell everyone of your Gardenia experience. Our bread store is also open for everyone to shop. Find your favorite Gardenia products at a discount. Bring home some of our Garden Merch items to remember your Bread City adventure by. Okay, and we hope you enjoy that virtual tour that we wow, that is can we do the recipe, yeah? And hopefully, okay. next time you can be featured in one of the videos as well when you got to visit us again here in Gardenia. So now, oh for our God. most sure. so part cool. of the program, we are going to do our recipes. So get ready with your ingredients, everybody. We are Don't going to anything. do our recipe quick. Am I right? You are going to create our toasties pastillas. Am I right? Am I, I right? don't Am have I right? anything with right. me. If you don't have anything, you can just watch the other pastillas. recipe. Okay. Okay. Before we start, I have a question. I have a question. Yes, have a what's question. your question? And please make it a question. It's not something that. Uh, we don't have a lot of apple voron. Am I am I right? You're going to create. Can I buy it? Can I buy it? Come on, let's hurry. So I wanna buy apple voron. Everybody's hurry. going. To Who's the Am I right? Yeah, I can buy the pastillas. Can I buy? Can I buy ah, the okay. pastillas? Okay, apple voron. Okay, everybody is it? going to create um, apple voron for today's activity. That's something to say. Yes. So, okay, we are. Going to share with you a recipe video of polvoron, how to make polvoron quickly. And then after that, we are going to teach you step by step on how to create this recipe. Natin. Those teas polvoron, you said, of course, our yet. gardenia products, our gardenia toasties, our gardenia butter toast. Again, if you don't have ingredients, it's fine. You can take note of the steps. And then later on, once you have the ingredients, you can do the recipe. But for now, let's all watch and learn how to make this very simple and easy recipe. Our toasties. Miss? Miss? Can I ask a question while watching this? Are we going to do the recipe? Yes. Yes, but we're going to do the recipe in a bit. I don't have those. Well, I don't have those. Yes, I don't have a recipe. I don't have a sheep. I don't have a dip, chocolate dip and sprinkles. Make our toasties polvoron. Yeah. I have a question. You it's called toastiespolveron.mp4. And if you don't have the ingredients, it's fine. But if you have the ingredients, we're going to teach you step by step. Yes, I don't have toasties. I didn't watch. I don't have toasties either. And so we and we are we are going to do the pastillas later. Did anybody prepare pastillas for this today's recipe? Or just polvoron? No, we don't have the ingredients. Okay. Are we going to do pastillas or polvoron? Polvoron. 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 Polvo
let's Ayan. start with our polvoron making. So let's begin oh, with our first order. step. Oh, first dear. step, I don't step have number background. one. What is our first step? Kuya, I... how can you show them yes. our first step? But... Yes. Okay, our first step is, of course, to crush our gardenia toasties. So crush your gardenia toasties or your gardenia butter toast, then transfer it into a bowl. Ayan. So crush your gardenia toasties, then crush our gardenia butter toast, then transfer everything into a bowl or a container where you can mix the other ingredients. Okay, this is our first step. So crush your gardenia toasties, then transfer everything into a bowl. Okay. Kindly put a thumbs up on your screen if you're done with this step already. I know some of you maybe uh, did the step earlier. Um, but for the others who haven't crushed it, you can crush it now. For those who are done with crushing their gardenia toasties and who have transferred it into the bowl, the next step is to add our ingredients so the next step is to add our ingredients so you can add your flour if you're using flour and your melted butter plus some sugar but don't put too much sugar i know the recipe said 100 grams of sugar i think you can just put a little bit of sugar in it we don't want it to be too sweet in case you're not using flour you can use powder we gonna do it instead. now Yes, you will do it now. And if you have the ingredients, you can do it now. Yes. Again, crush those teas. Then you mix it, combine it with your flour, melted butter, and a little bit of sugar. If not flour, you can substitute it with powdered milk instead. And don't add sugar anymore. And if you're using powdered milk, you can opt not to add sugar anymore. And so that's our second step then mix them all together until you have your pulveron mixture this is very easy actually and so mix them all together now you will have your pulveron mixture the mixture doesn't have to be wet and it just have to be a little crumbly so that when you mold it later on you will be able to form your different types of pulveron okay and so again, our steps. First is to crush your gardenia toasties. Second step is transfer it into a bowl. And then in that bowl, you will mix it with your flour, sugar, and your melted water. If not flour, you can use powdered milk. And then mix them all together using a spoon or anything that you can use. A mixing spoon. And that is our second step. This is very easy. After this, you already have your pulveron mixture. Okay, do you have a question? Si Kai? Kai, do you have a question? You're raising your hand. Teacher, kapag hindi trampled yung mga parts. Again? Kapag yung mga parts yung hindi na trampled. Trampled? Yung hindi na crushed. Ah, hindi na crush. It's okay if it's not fully, fully crush. And if it's not too fine, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's okay if it's not too fine yung crush butter toast ninyo. And if you want it to be a little crunchy. Okay, you have a question, si AJ? AJ Curry, do you have a question? What's your question, AJ? I got to eat it. Yes, later on, you will be getting to eat it after we're done molding. Of course, we have to mold our polvoron first. Okay, what's the question, Pablo, Gabriel? Do you have a question? No, that's not... Um, miss, I don't have, to I don't have toasty, so I decided to substitute, to use a substitute, i.e. flour. Okay, I use flour instead. It's okay, it's okay. You can still Kasi make your don't have in the first. Okay, okay. Who else has a question? We have... Can you add more butter? Yes, you may. If you want, if it's not uh, that crumbling together yet, if you can't form it, you think you can't mold it yet, you may add a little bit more of your butter. 
Okay, please avoid uh, the dating on the screen. The keyboard. Okay, we have Diane, Lorraine, Tori. Do you have a question? When are we going to do the Toasties Pastelias? Because that's the only one that I can do. I might it's do over that. lunch time already. It's over half past 12, over quarter past. I have something to say. Okay, what do you have to say, Elior Mir? I don't have toasties. Ah, you don't have toasties. But do you, do you have or, other ingredients bread. or just toasties is missing? Or gardenia bread. Do you have the other ingredients though? Or do you don't do you just are just missing toasties or do you have or do you don't have all of the ingredients? I have flour. You have flour, butter, sugar. Okay, you can create the recipe still if you don't have the toasties. If toasties oh, is the only missing thing, you can create. Ah, yeah, you can create the recipe. Okay, mix them all together. Are we all done mixing? Then the last step and to make your polvoron is we're just going to mold our polvoron mixture. So you can use your and mix well until it looks exactly like that it's crumbly not too sticky not sticky at all but enough for you to form or for you for it to be molded then we can after mixing it well the last step in making your polvoron is to mold it so you can use your polvoron molder if you have a polvoron molder if you don't have you can use anything that can hold uh, the pulveron shape. And you can use a small Teacher. cup or a, a measuring spoon, maybe, or measuring cups that you have. You can use it, a scoop on your of your milk. Maybe it can also be used and as to form or to hold the shape. You can use a little like that. And we have see John David. They're showing us they're using a small cup to form. Their pul uh, pulveron that can be can be an option. So it doesn't have to be the pulveron molder like the one on the screen, and it can be anything that can be used to hold the shape of your pulveron. So you can now mold wow. your pulveron, then place your molded pulveron on a plate so that you're done already additionally you can decorate your pulveron if you want you can dip it in chocolate if you want add some sprinkles and it depends on you if you want to make it a little more flavorful okay who's telling me to look let me see Okay, I see Gian. Gian is already done with two big pulverons. Very good, Gian. You're already done with your pulveron. And you can finish the rest of the mixture later on. You use that one, that cup. Very good. You can use that as well. And you can finish the rest of the mixture later. You can just do one to two right now. I know everybody is already hungry. It is lunchtime, so we don't really want to keep it long. So can you, you can just do one or two pieces lang for now, then finish the rest later on so that we can proceed with the activity natin. Okay, I don't want to use my homemade garlic bread because that will be gross for pulveron. It won't be really uh, good for pulveron if it's the garlic bread. So you can just use your flour and your uh, sugar and your butter, Elior, if you don't have the toast. Excuse me. Yes? When are we gonna do the toasties pastelas? You have prepared the toasties pastillas. And you're the only one, I think, who prepared the toasties pastillas. So, how to make it? I think they already gave you their instructions. We can't uh, go over it right now because we don't have all the time. But it's a very easy recipe as well. Done already. Oh, see, Gian added, and added some chocolate on her pulveron. And I'm done. If you want to share with us the photos of your of 
pitched on the photo of your Paul Coron. So, yan, I can see si MJ also done already. Very good. Ayan, and the others are also molding. And if you want po to share the photos from today, you can share it using our official hashtag. Wait, it says there are prizes. Ayan, there are prizes for those who will be sharing photos of their uh, work. Ayan, your own pastorias. So we will be messaging you. And if you are going to post it. And Where do we post it? On Facebook po. Ayan, you can use your mom or dad's Facebook if you don't have your own yet. Ayan, and then use our official hashtag, hashtag Gardenia School Nutritor so that you, uh, so that we can see your photos. Make sure po that the post is public so that we can see them. And then kindly await for messages so that you uh, can receive your prize. Okay. Ayan, Make you can make them later if you don't have the ingredients right now and you did not do it right now. You can still do it later on and post on Facebook so that we can see. Okay, can we can we now? Uh, are you is everybody done with their polvoron? Are you all done with your polvoron? Okay. No. No, but I will do it later on with my parents, right? With my yes, parents. Yes, we will do it later on with your parents. Okay, okay, I will. I will. I will. I promise. Okay, everybody, can we all open our cameras now? Let's take a class. I don't have any. Before the end. I don't have any of the you ingredients. You can finish. Molding the rest of your polvoron mixture later on. Ayan. But for now, you can just present maybe one to two pieces of the ones that you're... Uh, the I don't know all the ingredients, Teach. And then you can... For those who weren't able to do it... I did not later say. Later yet. I didn't have any ingredients. And if you didn't do anything, just uh, please keep your cameras on so uh, that we can still see you bread crumbs for bread today. Crumbs okay. Like the breadcrumbs? Like breadcrumbs won't be possible. The ones that you buy in the breadcrumbs. No, Unless it's the one that's fresh. Breadcrumbs. Anyway, let's all take a class picture. Everyone, please smile in front of the camera. In one, two, three. Another one. Let's take another photo. One, two, three. And so thank you very much, everybody, for participating. Again, for those who did not do the recipe right now, you can still do it later on. But good job. For those who did it, okay. you can eat it later after you have your lunch. Ayan. So thank you, thank you very much okay. for the participation of everybody. We hope you enjoyed and learned a lot. Okay. And to our school, Paul Bay School for Giftedness, thank you very much for allowing us to conduct our school nutri tour. To our parents, guardians, thank you very much for staying with us until now. And so I will... Okay. Now, thank you for all of you. Bye. 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 Bye.